Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh, hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor. What time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls. Who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm. Are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because <gasps> I'm going to win. The magical Eldorado exploding <gasps> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one-of-a-kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. So <gasps> watch out. The exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. <gasps> ah! uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor, too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Blech. Oh! Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Doma will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! <laughs> Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. <laughs> well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. Uh, thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh, why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Ha! 
You're here too! Ah! into a frog, then I can pull you out! Ah, thank you so much. You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. While Rudy and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! Unpredicted berries. These carrots are gigantic! 33 times bigger than normal! With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year! I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year, and there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Aria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable, and they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There! Gotcha! Heroic leap out of... To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's split up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps. Stewed nettle salad. The best woodland recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable berry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, <laughs> Helen. Uh. Big warp. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it, and then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictable berries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. 
Oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. going down too. It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow. Mm. Even the sourest berries can make. I know what to do. We're going to win this competition. Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Little salad for you. It's baked as a joy. <clears throat> the jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to the unpredictable <gasps> jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it! Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Slipshod. Some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! Oh. How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please, with the cherry on top? Of course, but follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! <laughs> Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great game! <laughs> but we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! And I love this soup too! Ugh. It's amazing! Hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them? But they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How 
beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait. Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shard, oh, I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shard magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning, Vaggy. <laughs> Oh! A slipshot! Mandy grew! <gasps> the growth elixir! That's what caused it! I have to fix it! Rooney, wait! Rooney! <gasps> Watch out! Careful! It's behind you! Where? I can't see it! Hey! Stop uh, it! Uh, hey! Let go! Go, I'll hold them off. Done with the flowers. Now 100 drops of rainbow. See, children, if you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> Happy Snowland Day. Right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -oh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted ice slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get 
what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> you wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests as quick as can be to the holiday tree. A flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. Oh, oh. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah! Ooh, to the right. Oh, I mean to the left. Huh? Ah! 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 Did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. <laughs> She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. Bye now. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. Ugh. Go away. I don't want to come to your party. My gift! We did it! Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late, too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the hey, kids are simply... We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool! We had to walk back. But look! We saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away. A six-legged beast! It worked! Glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh the tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsea Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No. Not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Rooney, don't be sad. That just means a whole nother week of playing ball. Let's go. <laughs> huh? The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. 
But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not, uh, meow. the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsi Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! We'll catch you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It catch really it. worked. You wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Come on, grab it. It's getting away. Wow. Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it. It's getting away. You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney. Invisible lock shut tight. That? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once. Uh, professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still. Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop. Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still. <gasps> oh, wow. Now it's your turn. Ready, go. Stop still. Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still. Oh, I froze the wrong thing. Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Roscoe, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action! Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman! Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney! It was great! I'm getting a package soon, too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the goal. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. 
Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> the Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... Well, well, I've... Here. I wanted to make a Sweet Dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth. It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you, too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes! My homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> We like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where oh. are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth, but I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the wrong way around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little calming clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. 
All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man, look! It's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful sweet dreams, gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right. <laughs> Daylight robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the immortal, at least compared to those. Oh. 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 <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney, you just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore while awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. <sighs> I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <clears throat> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. There you are! What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime! I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour! We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should- Yoo-hoo! I'm right here. 
Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell, or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey, get off! <laughs> good try, princess, but not good enough. <laughs> oh. <gasps> We're free now. Oh. That means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? Uh, so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? We're here! Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Oh, hooray! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh. Ugh. Yuck. So sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is, sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our act to do yours? It is entertaining, though. <laughs> <laughs> Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Do you Girls, suggest please the stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for magic home economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in a pseudo fairy tale style at the last hmm. moment. Hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. That's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. 
The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Oh. Professor! Oh. Where is the immortal? Oh. Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Uh -huh. uh, uh, <coughs> Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! <gasps> Ooh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell? To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Forget me not. Oh. How's that? Oh. Archie, no flying, that's cheating. Rooney, are you there? Did you forget about the exam? I'm coming! What a pain. Oh, great. Our game's ruined. Mm. You too? I was going to study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book? Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees, they always bear fruit. Ah, candy trees, tree of knowledge. Oh dear. Right, what else does it say? The forget-me-nut, an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! Hmm... Where is it? 
seeds. Yes! I'll eat it up and get an A for sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut, so 100 years or not, it's mine. Suppose trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. Walnuts all empty? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just, I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Anyway, you can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-not is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. <laughs> time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls. I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh no! What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, 
Okay, okay. Unfreeze. Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help. You're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look, I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying, no need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh, it seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm, Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Stop her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the Professor. Pretending oh. to be oh. one of our best! Teach us! Ow. Professor, I'll cut off her escape! Ow. What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid. Or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues. Turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. 
Oh, who even knew? Daria. Um. Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. 